Hello, folks, and welcome back to Dragon Fang Z. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a Dragon Fang run because, you know, the game's called Dragon Fang. Cave of Fang. Just want to make sure we're not missing anything here. I keep glossing over this, but it looks like we're good. Apparent rate of items are lower than usual. Yeah, no shit. The default drop rates are good, so yay? We're, we're going to go with yay. We're going to go with yay. I do like... I mean... If we don't have a weapon for a while, that could be a serious problem. We could actually just die straight away. But hey, it's been 50-odd runs now. We're actually going to run 55 right now, and I think we're doing decently. I mean, the same boss keeps on defeating us every time. Which is why it's nice to take a break, you know, go fight other bosses, go do other things. It's the... I think, really, with that last, with the last run, it's the fact that they keep on summoning other bad guys in the boss fights. If it was just the boss. And like very few, very few other things. I think it would probably go a lot better. I think we want to use the confirm drop potion on something. I just don't know what. But I mean, we have to take it the way it is, right? It, it's, it's the way this, it's the way the scenario is built. They've obviously done it as a challenge for a reason. I don't shield that up with that. So we just have to, we have to deal with it. We have to figure out what the best option is and what the best responses are. I haven't obviously figured that out yet, just yet. We've gotten close. Like, there was one time we actually defeated both bosses, just not their ads. Like, they both came in with a bunch of... And they both summoned a bunch of bad guys when they get down to, like, the last 10% of health. And it's like, well, I can't do much against that. I guess we're boned. And sure enough, we were seriously boned. But it was just the bosses we totally be able to do. Like, we've seen the exit before. We've just never actually gone down it. Right, Bloody Axe is not my favorite, but we do have some fangs now. I suppose I should actually, like, equip and shit. Two other fangs, though. That's not going to happen. I go and give this one up. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and equip the harp. My problem with the axe is that it has a chance to miss. A good old 20%, 1 in 5 chance to miss. I'd rather a 1 in 20. You know, give me some of that D20 action. I have no arrows. Alright, wait for you then. Another harpy fang, which I don't think we need. We probably use it as a charge. Rather than Mochi Fang, honestly. But with, since we have the since we have the axe, the Kimon Fang would actually be really good. I don't know what the odds of that are though. Uh you're just a heal, which is fine. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and equip you over the uh I'm gonna go ahead and get the second Harpy Fang. We're gonna go ahead and take that healing away. And offer this up. Since we have the Kalapa Fang as our heal, I think that'll be a better heal. Right, that's our exit. These are pretty small floors initially, so not too worried about just going off in the wilds. Not too worried about dragon time or any of that. Where's our shield right now? Our shield is an iron shield, so it's basic garbage. Copper shield's not much better. Even, you know, lower. Pretty bad. And weapon, what do we got? Oh, Thunder Hammer. I don't know, less damage, but no chance to miss, so there is that. I do prefer the uh, 360 no scope ability of the axe, but. Oh, I need to go this way. There you go. But the missing ability is not something that I really want. Okay, Patacon, I don't think you really have anything for me aside from experience, so give me your experience. Guess the axe would take him on a single blow. Uh, Alright, let's go. We wasted more than enough time here, and no Dragon Time books, so... And no Mochi Fang, either. Uh, do I want... I guess I attack you, what the hell. There you go. You're dead. Every little bit of experience helps. Oh, and of course it's a fucking Monster Lair, and I'm right in the middle of it. Well, this could be my death. The, uh, these guys here. 
cast blunt magic, so that would be bad. This guy's lined up to shoot me, so that would also be bad. This guy might look asleep because we don't see his eyes, but no, they're totally open. He did, his eyes are open. His eyes are actually just inside the clamshell. It looks like they're not open because you're looking at the stuff right above his mouth there, but no, his eyes are open. Uh, yeah, so we are well and truly bound here. I don't see a good way out. But you know what? The Bloody Axe here might actually be a better option. Because then we'll be able to do 360 when we get Bravery up. Now, we might not live that long, but I think we have a chance here, maybe? We get Bravery up. And then the, the uh... Yeah, the Crystal will shatter. Charging up our Fang. Okay, great. Charge up our Fang. Our screen dies. Okay, so far so good. This is why we love the axe. Then we don't really need to position ourselves here. Okay, we might be okay. The devil and died pretty quick. Lots and lots of good fangs dropping. Well, actually, these are bad fangs. These are not great fangs, but... I was hoping the Moshi would drop his fang, but no such luck. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I don't think we're getting to that chest. I have no arrows to use. So whatever's in that chest is just gone. You have to accept that. Get the fangs. Waku Waku box of spear. That's fine. Oh, damn it. Well, down we go. One more layer. That's too bad. Confirmed drop potion isn't horrible. If oh, there's a Kingman right over there. Since we have an axe, his fang is actually really kind of important. That would make it so we don't, uh, we don't miss. I'll go ahead and wake him up. So I can get his fang. I will totally trade one of the harpies for, I guess. Uh, equip. There we go, so now we can't miss. Great. Uh, this is garbage, so I'm gonna go chop that up. I actually don't know what the amulet does. Amulet of Sunbless. What does that do? Invalidate, blunt, and bind. Okay. 40%. That's not bad. Uh, Devil and Fang. Okay, brave up. Sure, why not? Alright, I'll take that yet again. Let's do it again. Alright, well, we lived through the monster layer. Really didn't expect to, but we did so so far so good. Had to drop a level though. Damn pitfall traps, man. Okay, fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy wuzzy. Ah, uh, you're pretty bad, right? If I offer this up, change fan skills by five or charge them rather. Let's wait until we have actual bo bonus objects in the room. Cause that would have been nice to get the waku waku box. So if we get another monster layer on this floor, basically, I will totally do it. Uh, if we actually need, positively need the charge, I'll go for it, but I don't think we will. That's our way down. This is actually the shortest floor ever. All right, so much for that. Most of these floors are pretty short. Hello, the Devlin. Go away. I say go away. There you go. Nothing else in this room. Keep on hoping for thunder. You know what? I will upgrade my axe. What the hell? The chances of us getting a better weapon right now seem pretty slim. I have the harpy thing, too. Do I want to charge anything? It seems kind of a waste right now because we're doing so well. Thank you there. Oh, she leveled up because she killed him. That's all right. If you want to drop your fang, that'd be pretty cool. We need the devil and fang again, but I guess we'll just get more bravery. Yeah, she did not want to drop her fang. Okay, so devil and fang definitely offer that up. More brave, the better off we are. Down here is a weapon. I mean, maybe it's better than the axe. Please don't be cursed. 
It's a cudgel. It's garbage. Do not like cudgels. With the Cayman Fang, the axe is totally serviceable. If it had been a better, like a higher quality axe, I definitely would have liked it, but I mean, I guess like Kaku Uchimanji would be good too. There's a merchant. Okay, sure, let's sell you my garbage. So, oh, we have a confirmed drop potion. Didn't totally forgot about that. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna sell you the Harpy Fang. I don't need it. Thunder Hammer, the Rafelzian Fang is pretty bad. Harper Shield is pretty bad. Okay, so. The Delmo Box, I'm sure, is fine, but whatever. We already have a Bloody Axe. Level 3 even. Uh, another confirmed drop potion. I mean, most of the stuff's out of my price range. One thing I can really buy is a Turquoise Staff. Can't even buy the Adomo Box. I mean, I could maybe if I wanted to sell something else, but I really don't. Poison would be okay. Actually, Poison would be bad for the next boss, right? He's actually coming up pretty quick. Yeah, okay, what the hell? What the hell? I'll buy the Poison. Thank you. Oh, there, Goblin. Uh, come up here, so I have Dragon Area on you. Not that it really matters, because there's only one of you, but so it goes. Okay, there's probably only one more room south. We might as well look at it. Probably where the Goblin was hanging out. Oh, there's another shield down here. Okay, don't steal from me. That's all I ask. Not that you have a whole lot of places to go. Oh, he dropped his fang. I didn't dare ask for it, but he dropped it anyway. Nice. Okay, coin flip whether or not we identify things by picking them up. Fantastic. Bye, please. Thank you. Oh, we stepped on a trap. I wonder if that... I mean, it wasn't carrying anything, so it doesn't seem like it would have actually affected him that much. I would love to have traps affected bad guys. I'm not exactly sure what that would mean for that specific trap, but it'd still be nice. Okay, everyone's asleep here, so murder you. Okay, don't mind leveling up. Uh, nope, don't go downstairs. Stay as it is. Weird way to phrase it, but I'll take it. I think we just want to offer this up, right? This will make us immune to traps. Not totally immune, but close. Um, I think maybe we give up the heal power. Yeah, okay. We'll give up our ability to heal. I'm, I'm okay with that. But we don't really have another heal. It's true. Give up the harpy attack? Harpy attack's only 40, right? Um, let's actually look at that. Yeah, it's 40. So technically the War Goblin is better by 10 more damage. And then go ahead and just immediately charge it. We could sell it, but that seems unlikely. Alright. You die. You don't. Put him to sleep. God damn it. There. Okay, what I'd really like... What I think we're saving our confirmed drop potion for is a golem. Golem fangs are great. Highly recommend. 8 out of 10 stars, at the very least. Our Felzian flying is pretty bad. Tim just offer it up immediately, but we can't really do much with it. Okay, definitely a dark elf here. Hello, how you doing? Please die. Thank you. Oh, nothing else in here. Okay. So, like, one more room. What's that item over there? Oh, I've forgotten. Oh, well, what are you doing? Go away. Did we actually look at this item? Oh, no, I guess we didn't. Spirit Potion. Hey, a way to heal. And you die, please. Thank you. Thunderbook? Please be a Thunderbook. Analysis book. Not horrible. Ooh, do we trade out the elf? I think we trade out for the elf. So the problem here is... I mean, the Riker shot's interesting. 
on to Brave. Give Blunt Attack. I don't think it's worth giving up what we currently have, though. Now, the Arrow Elf, I think, I think that's better. There. Okay. So now we can go ahead and go downstairs. I mean, a Merchant would be great because I need to sell the things instead of offering them up. Where this box is. If it's a warehouse box, it'd be great. You hardly ever get to transfer stuff over from these runs. Uh, do, do, do. It's a good way to test this. The unknown shield, maybe. It could be an analysis box. It's just a brass box. We have no idea. Oh, we do have an analysis box, don't we? We totally do. Let's find out what the box is. A dragon box. Okay, this basically just means you can hold stuff. Just lets you hoard. Which is fine. Um, probably just means that we just can gather stuff in there that we want to sell. And the next time we see a merchant, we just sell the entire box with all of its contents. Done it before. It's not a horrible box, it's just not that interesting. It expands our inventory temporarily. Well, this has been a total waste of a floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, what do you know? It bounced off of me. No binding for me. And that 40% chance is pretty good. Okay. I already have your amulet, so that won't help me at all. I can't get it twice. As far as I know. So maybe we just... Yeah, maybe we just store this crap that I don't want. I should probably get the enemy to life, right? Natural healing up by like 10% even would help. So let's go and offer that up first off. Okay, and then... Grafelzian is pretty bad. We already have the ammo that's unblessed. We can't get it again. So then we put both Rafelzian and the Duranki inside the dragon box. So I can sell that whenever I can. The fluffy thing might be useful later. If we get into a monster layer, it might be handy to have that ready to go. Nice. Bounce off yet again. No binding for me. Okay, looks like this circles. Oh, good thing we have the goblin thing there. Otherwise, that would have exploded. Oops, nope. Yeah, actually hit the guy. There we go. I would have exploded everywhere. All the explodies. And that's a big old huge waste of a floor. Alright, away we go. We defeated the Merlinus before. I'm just worried that we're not quite ready. Now that time finding actually happened. Alright, let me go. Come on. And I don't know what exactly would make us ready though. I don't really have any good criteria that I'm looking for here. Stop beating me up. Well, I kind of wanted him to do that so I can shoot him from a distance. There we go. He's dead. Okay, that was a great shot. Well done. Can't even be that mad. I'll just uh, wait here for you then. Thanks. Yeah, the Merlinus and the... I mean, the Protector Fang wasn't that great, but... Bad either. It did help us for a while. Just help us deal with the second boss. Skeleton Fang does give us invulnerability. I think as long as we're using the axe, that's not something we need to worry about. Um, I'm gonna equip it. I don't know what it is. Okay, no, Kikuchimaji is fine. So we're gonna give up the axe. I don't want to be surrounded anyway. And the axe is only really good if you're surrounded. It did help during that monster layer, that's true, but I'd rather that wasn't an issue. So I think instead, we're going to give up the Cayman thing. And maybe get the invulnerability. Invulnerability might be better. We're going to need something to help us in the Merlinus fight, and I don't think the Cayman's going to do it. The shoulder tackle is cool, but it's only shoulder tackle one. 
So it doesn't do that much damage. I mean, shoulder tackle doesn't anyway, but. Just die, thank you. Probably should have gone into uh, Dragon Array there, but it's whatever. Your thing would be nice. Get some damage, and not to mention, you know, the additional Dragon Time. Nope. Doesn't feel like doing it today. Okay. So before we go on the next floor, I want Skeleton Fang. I don't know if it is full rest is just a chance not to wake people up. Which is not cool. That's yeah, not as good. Not as good. Let's just equip and I will get rid of this. Okay, now we have one vulnerability theoretically. Can I offer this up right now? Okay, we get invincibility there too. So okay, we'll hold on to that. I want to put the bloody axe inside the dragon box. This so it doesn't take in much room. Yeah, confirmed drop potion. Again, a golem would be great. I'd replace the skeleton with a golem. Okay. Good thing the confusion trap totally missed there. Ooh, I am not in a good shape defensively. Yeah, that was not great. What's her do here? Rushing attack for 30. Attack and defense up. That's not bad. Maybe better than the skeleton. I mean, I like the arrows from the windless arrow, but we could always trade that out. The defense up is going to be really nice, too. Let's go and just get some extra quiver. I am worried about our health a bit. I don't know what to do with that right now. Okay, well, that worked out. Oh, man, so many freaking mines and stuff around here. Visualization potions would be great. Oh, shit, it's a Yeti. Well, he's not mighty yet, so we have a chance. He does have 80 health now. We don't know how far back this will push him, but might as well try it. He gets knocked back. He has not gone mighty yet. Okay. Usually he goes tough and mighty, but that did not happen that time. Weird. Be, it would have been a lot harder to defeat and possibly could have killed me there, but he decided not to. Yeah, my defense is not good right now. Can I actually hit you? I cannot. Well, you can hit me. That's bullshit. I can't attack around corridors most times, but they can totally hit me. A merchant, you say? Right on the frickin'... Why are you on the exit? That's so dumb. Now I need to kill you. Okay, what do you have? Do you have anything? I'll put level 10's kind of tempting. Just for the double attack. Uh, analysis book, whatever. Yeah, maybe. No, I'll just sell you the dragon's box right now. And that's probably it. Else bow is a little tempting now. The additional damage for sure, the, the additional attack. Kiko Jumanji is good for the criticals, it's true. Lead box, who knows? It could be a warehouse box, could be nothing. Uh, but you have an analysis box, and or analysis book rather. If this is a warehouse box, and we can find out pretty easily, then we can buy the Elspo and over the current weapon, and maybe that'll work. Okay, let's find out what the lead box is. The changing box. That's still okay. Not as good as I wanted it to be, but still all right. Okay, so I'm going to sell you my current weapon. For only 125. I need 1,000 to get the elf bow. That's not gonna cut it. Oh no, actually, no, it's just gonna cut it. It's just barely gonna do it. Yeah, okay, I was gonna sell fangs in the other ways, but no, this works out fine. This works out fine. All 
right. Elf bow. Uh, changing box will be just as good as things I want to sell, so whatever. And you, however, need to die. I am sorry, but you're on my fucking exit. Like, what are you thinking? There. So the merchant's dead. Uh, I should probably go south and just explore that last room. Just in case. Okay. Wow. That was some decent damage right there. Oh, we're about to hit the boss. The boss is going to be next floor. Whether you want it to be or not, it's happening. Level down potion does not help me at all. Gold doesn't help me right now because the merchant's dead. Why the hell the merchant spawn on the freaking exit? I have no idea. If I had someone to knock her back, I would have done that instead, but I didn't. Oh, here comes another Yeti. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Just got mighty. All right. Holy fuzzy cats. But he's dead. Okay. Well, my worry right now is that I'm not strong enough. So we're going to go ahead and heal. I'm just going to circle around a little bit. Okay. None of my stuff is charged, which is horrible. The uh, the fuzzy thing might not be bad. Throwing a poison at the Merlinus probably not a bad idea to start off. We have a door over there. We have a Yeti. We have some crystals we can blow up. A lot of defenders. Okay. First things first. We throw the poison at Merlinus. Confirm drop on the protector might not be horrible, but we'll see. I need to run, I think. Defenders move pretty slow, so that's at least helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this. That should help a little bit. So I can body check all three of these guys right now. So away they go. That's great. Actually did some damage to them. I'm going to go pick up this book. And burst this. Dragon Time book is not what I wanted. Fatal Magic Wave. That sounds bad. Visualization Potion helps me not at all. But a good chunk of my stuff is charged now. I have no arrows. Level down potion does not help me. Merlinus has taken some serious damage from that poison. If I get this door out of the way, it might not be bad. Alright, I don't think there's any bonus objects in this room. But it will at least charge my fang. Uh, by five, though. Not by as much as I want. The iron wall protection is not going to help me as much. Not yet, anyway. The door is going to be a bitch, though. It is going to be some trouble. If I move up one... Okay, so now the invincibility may not be bad. I want this door out of my way. Yeah, right now, I'm really wishing I had gotten that, uh, that elf arrow. So I'd be able to do 80 damage to everybody in a row right here. Well, one damage to the door. Because he's like that. But I can at least do this. 30 damage to everybody in a row. Let's do that. Okay, knocked everybody away. That was pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and do invincibility because I'm going to need it. I'm invincible for four turns. One, two. Okay, Merlinus has got to go. I will charge as I'm doing this. Um, I'm going to go and poison him, too. So, Melinus is poisoned. Full health. I need to get out of this. Like, if I'm not out of this by the time invincibility is over, I'm done. I have no transfer. Which is too bad. Okay, I'm going to escape this way. Theoretically. Okay, invincibility is over. We weren't planning on doing too much with that. But all the defender speeds are normal, so they're only going to move half speed. Okay, 
Okay, so the door's here. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and charge this. The door's gonna hit me, but what else do you gonna do right now? Or I guess he's a shield, isn't he? He's totally a shield. I keep calling him a door. It's totally a shield. The ads are bad. I have no arrows. I can charge a bit here. Um, I can body check the... If I body check the door, the door will die, or the shield will die. The shield dying is great. The Yeti gets pushed back. This guy right here gets to attack me, and this guy right here gets to attack me. But that's just how it goes. Unless actually... No, no, he's not dead yet, but he's... He's not feeling well. If I go to up and to the right, I can charge, but then I still get attacked by the shield. No, I think I want to attack one of the other shields. Let's do this. Okay, so the black guard's down. Um, sadly, I'm still in a very bad way. I do get a double attack when I do attack. So that's something. I'm tempted to hit Merlinus a lot here, but that's not really my main concern right now. Let's go ahead and be invulnerable for a bit. Let's offer this up. I think that's my only chance right now. Okay, four turns of invulnerability, which I kind of needed. The Yetis are normal, which is great. Double attack on the Yeti does help. The Yeti's dead. Do double attack on the defender. My vulnerability is over. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh man, I would give anything for a freaking golem attack right now, but that's not something we have. Spirit potion is going to help me here. Well, down potion unfortunately doesn't help me here. Now I think we're pretty much doomed, unless some magic happens. <laughs> defender down. Oh, thank goodness the misses. How the hell? I don't even know. I don't even know. The Yeti's gotta go. I'm gonna go up to this so I can destroy it. Get some charge back. Okay, now we can possibly defend here. Shoulder tackle and get rid of both these guys. We have more invulnerability if we want it. Okay, the defenders are going to be a problem, but I've got full brave. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Um, I have a spirit potion. I can do that. Although, should I should I get? I'm wondering if I should maybe go invulnerable first. Slam move is not going to really work just now, so yeah, let's become invulnerable first. I attack the defenders as much as I can here. That was not too bad. Um, Merlinus could die here. Yeah, there we go. Merlinus is down. Huzzah. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I could just leave. I could heal up and leave. Maybe not a horrible thought. Let's heal up first. Okay. I can destroy this defender eventually. But the smarter option is probably just to go. Yeah, because it just summoned a bunch of bad guys. That would be very bad for me. I gotta go. Hey, Merlinus is down, though. Did it yet again? Oh shit, fucking monster layer. Of course, of course there is. I'm low on resources, like now's not the time. And a whole bunch of bad guys in here too. This is very, very bad. And they're all awake. I don't know. I'm um, here, level down the, um, the Loshi? Loshi might teleport me away if he's leveled down, so maybe. Okay, he moved me, which I guess I'll take. Get me out. Okay, Wraith, unfortunately, leveled up. That's how it goes sometimes. Okay. 
Okay, Super Fluffy's Paralysis hit the Skeleton. Hello there, Golem. I don't have a Seal Staff for you, so you might actually level somebody up. Or to use my level down potion, so... Can't do much. Oh, he dropped his... He dropped his... Fang, though. That's awesome. I'll pick that up. And Leo, she told him we're being wait, but that's totally okay. I didn't go on Fang. I will equip that. I will equip that over this for sure. I have no arrows, so... 85, huh? All right, well, I can't really do much about that, so you're gonna have to come. No, ow, that hurts. Okay, you're not gonna come towards me. I'll do this. Yep, yeah, okay, I have no healing, right? Correct, sir. Well, damn. Merlinus's Fang does what? Summon an Annihilator. Will perish after 20 turns. Its attack damage equals three times your level. So basically 33, which isn't great. Summon a Defender in front. It's Hell's Gate. I'm using a Staff Charge Fang. Skills. Okay, Melissa's Fang is interesting. I'm about to die anyway, though, so it doesn't really matter. It's more academic. Goodbye, cruel world. Yeah, go ahead and level somebody up there, Golem. See if I care. I'm gonna be dead in a minute. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, the Merletus thing sounds really neat. Like, being able to summon some minions sounds great. Um, we'll hopefully get that again. For right now, though, thank you for watching. This has been Dragon Fang Z. That was run number 55 out of 100. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Peace in the Universe here at Peace in the Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.